There is not only one type of dental assistant. Every office is different, and each dental assistant may have different responsibilities and duties. Some offices may have only one assistant, some may have multiple chair side assistants, some may have specific dental hygiene assistants, and some offices even have a designated sterilization assistant who may have responsibility both up front and behind the scenes, keeping everything running smoothly. So for the purpose of this video, I will show you how my day in the life was as a dental assistant while working chair side at a private practice with one practicing dentist. In our office, the day generally starts with a morning huddle where the dentist, the dental assistant, and the business manager discuss all the treatment plans for the patients on the schedule. Once everything is organized and we are all on the same page, if we didn't already the night before, we start making specific trays for each patient that's coming in today. For example, say the first patient is a filling. We'll put all the instruments for a filling on the tray. If the second patient is getting a root canal, then we get all the root canal instruments ready on the next tray. Our office also makes separate anesthetic trays with everything the doctor will need for numbing up the patient. We all pitch in to help each other out. So all the hygienists and assistants together, we all start turning everything on and setting everything up in the sterilization room, such as filling the ultrasonic or taking the instruments out of the autoclave from the night before and filling up all the water bottles and flushing the lines. Then we get the room ready for the first patient. We bring the trays in and we cover everything we're going to touch with barrier tape. After the patient has signed all the treatment plans and consent forms at the reception desk, we will bring the patient back and seat them in the room. Next, we will update their health history, ask if there's any changes, any new medications, and then we will take their blood pressure. Next, the doctor will come in, and if the patient needs to be numb for the procedure, the doctor will numb up the patient with the syringe that the assistant has prepared. Say this first patient is, in fact, having a filling done. The dental assistant will suction and anticipate what the dentist needs next for each part of the procedure. So after working with the same dentist over and over, it becomes a super smooth process of passing the instruments back and forth. It's called four-handed dentistry for a reason. Once you figure out which instruments your dentist prefers and the order they prefer to use them in, you both start working seamlessly with each other. It's all about anticipation and experience. Once the first appointment is complete, sometimes the dentist will have the assistant take a post-op x-ray. And then the dentist will come back in and make sure everything looks good. If it does, we will walk the patient up to the front. So say the next patient is here and ready, we're going to do all those steps again, but this time of course with a different patient and a different procedure and setup tray. While this is happening, depending on the day, sometimes we have an office assistant who helps clean the room, but sometimes it's a group effort. But whoever it is, before we bring that next patient back, we need to make sure that we start getting the room ready. So we need to take everything out, clean it and set it back up, as well as go into sterilization and make sure all the instruments are put through the ultrasonic and then into the autoclave. Some offices, to help keep everything running smoothly and reduce waiting times for the patient, may work out of two rooms. For example, if the dentist is finishing up with one patient, the dental assistant can take an x-ray in the other room with another patient. This, of course, is great time management, but can create lots of running around for the dental assistant from room to room. But as most of you probably know, all this running around makes the day go by super fast. Once the day is over, we clean everything, we might get the tray and room ready for the first patient tomorrow, and of course we empty all the water lines dry and clean out the suctions. 
Some other duties of a clinical chairside assistant can be getting boxes ready to ship out to the labs, making post-op calls, and doing sterilization maintenance, such as replacing the cold sterile, maintaining the autoclave, shocking the water lines, etc. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. And if you're interested on a day in the life of a dental hygienist, I'll have that video linked below as well. Until next time, peace, love, and peace.